Definitely not be the first time Larry fights Rob in this bracket tonight. Second time he did have to fight Rafi X. So two Robs in bracket, really tough stuff for Larry to have to work and deal with. There's the forward out of shield, catches 8-bit men on that situation here. Oh, careful spot, yeah, that's tough. Because he has to worry about fighting for Rob against Rob Downer, and three spikes is all shaded out there. Eight, first stock going to 8-bit men. That's such a tough spot. Good on Larry to keep trying just in case, you know, 8-bit men did not get the timing, but look at how much Rob can run away with, and in the middle of Larry trying to go for a recovery because he was in a tough angle, he will lose the stock like so. This, is a, this hasn't even been a minute, and 8-bit men has taken two stocks. But that's the crazy thing about Falco, his damage output is really, really good, his combo potential is really high. So, and this is not out of the cards for Larry, it's just looking like a mighty big hill to climb. I like how he goes off stage, trying to see if he can get a down air, or for one air, especially with Rob being at 105. This has been tough too, because teching on Wi-Fi can be pretty tough, and I can definitely tell you Larry knows how to tech offline. Nonetheless though, the back end will put the stock into it. Uh, we will fix that out, by the way. It is one of the semis, but there's an extra W <laughs> on that side. Don't worry, we gotta fix that here for you guys. I'm told this is back air, yep. Larry looking to even up the stock deficit here. I like that he's still fighting off the stage. He did drop gyro, but up tilt will do it. I think that was up smash. Yeah, that was definitely up smash. Yeah. Goes back to what I was telling you. Uh, Falco's combo potential, damage output, it's really high. So it's it's all about how Larry keeps his composure. But unfortunately, the tail end of neutral Larry will be the end of game one. And 8 Man takes it for the 1-0 and a neutral Larry and do it. Uh, it's a tough matchup, but yeah, like I said, it's, it all depends on how Larry can keep his composure. It's it's not that hard. I mean, like I said, Falco can definitely dish out the damage and put himself in a position where he can still make this very, very doable. Alright, so next game here. Crazy thing about Down and Tuesday can now also cross up. Oh no, Larry, no! Larry, not again! Not like this. Not like this. This is the same situation he found himself in game one. This is very rough. Kind of crazy that Rob has like one of the best down tool down tools in the game. Up air to catch Larry on the jump here. Caught the roll. Yep. I respect it too because like Larry doesn't want to be in disadvantage, but it's really tough there. If it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario here. Once again, Ape and Man with a three stock deficit and a three stock lead. Kind of redundant there, but that's how it feels against Larry, right? No, Larry, Larry, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Like, he had to go for the edge guard because it's a risk reward factor in which he could definitely come out on top, but like. Oh, it's just so hard to watch. Ape and Man up 2-0 against Larry. This may or may not be a character switch. I can definitely see this being maybe a, a wolf potential, but even then, Wolf can have a tough time against Rob. I still respect Larry going for Falco, though. Like I said, damage potential and combo potential is very high for this character. And a lot can happen within a grab for Falco or an up tilt. 
I would love to see Larry go Wolf, but like I said, if it's just as bad for Falco, it can be just as bad for Wolf. All Wolf can do is just dish out, dish out more damage and knockback, and that's not to say that Falco can't do that. Oh, this was this was a really big corner carry for Ape Man. Not a stock, but with 41% on the board here on against Larry, climbing up only higher. Ape Man put himself in a good position, caught the jump here because Larry does not want to be in disadvantage. Yep. Fire Falco angle. He had the right angle, but unfortunately that's easy pickings for Rob with Falco off stage. Attack. Nice. Hold the shield. Nice. Good run up up tilt, but not able to get any any confirm after that one. Look, like that was DI dependent, and Larry and Ethan then both knew that. Definitely, you want to DI away from Falco's up tilts, or just try to DI away in general. Nice. Good empty hop. Able to go to grab. Larry slowly inching in there, 108. Close to the back air, I, I definitely appreciate it. Larry wasn't risking too much right there in the situation. Reflector, and the gyro is in, is in Falco's favor, yep. That's kind of one of the scary situations that Ape Man cannot pick up gyro just because he would get hit from it first. I think he has to, yeah, he has to hit it with down tilt, just in order to pick it up. I know Larry trying to come back center stage, and that's easy pickings for Ape and Man. That's kind of one of the scenarios where like Larry wants to probably try to come back through the edge and instead of getting juggled or losing the stock, but be going back to disadvantage or back to the corner to try to survive is really rough, especially as we've been seeing these past few games against Ape and Man. No grab after the neutral air, but I still respect it. They're looking to try to inch his way in there with stage control. Slow and steady, nice. Good empty hop. This forces out Agent Men to go out with an aerial double up airs. Oh no. Rob Mutraler has just such a late hitbox, can catch you off guard on side. Back air. Larry's working on it here. He can get the stock here. Forward air, that'll slowly put it in his favor here. Stage control in Larry's hands. He has to be careful. I like it. L moves away so he doesn't have to worry about robo arms or an up tilt. But Larry in a tough spot gets knifed here. He has to be forced to go the jump. And unfortunately, this will be the card that Ape and Man gets to play. What is this matchup?